Tonight, a Chautauqua County judge says the case against a mother in the death of her 12 year old daughter will move forward. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Russo. The judge now says Ashley Bertino from Hanover had, quote, utter disregard for value of human life, allowing the case to now go in front of a grand jury. The Erie County Medical Examiner says 12 year old Maya Smith from Hanover died as a result of neglect. Bertino has now been charged with second degree murder. This picture here came from a GoFundMe page set up for Maya's funeral expenses. Two more witnesses took the stand in today's part of the preliminary hearing after six testified on Thursday. Tonight, 7 News reporter Krista Moran joins us from Chautauqua County with what she learned in court today. After a two day preliminary hearing for Ashley Bertino at Hanover Town Court, the judge stated that in his 24 years on the bench, this is by far the most serious case he has ever heard. Chautauqua County District Attorney Jason Schmidt and First Assistant DA Jeffrey De Palma sharing their reaction after court. This should not happen. Maya Smith should be alive. Our job is to make sure that justice gets done here, and that's what we are striving to do. We are the voice for Maya at this point because she is no longer here to tell her story. Maya, a Silver Creek Central School District student, died in April from untreated diabetic ketoacidosis. A coroner testified the category of death was labeled as medical neglect. The Erie County Medical Examiner's Office ruled Maya's death as a homicide. After eight witnesses testified over a two-day period, with some sharing concerns for Maya's well-being, the district attorney's office and defense shared closing statements. The DA's office argued that Bertino acted recklessly, which led to Maya's death. It, it's shocking to me that we, you know, here we are in 2024 and you have an entire community. Who'd you hear from? You heard from neighbors, the school nurse, the teachers. You had the school resource officer. You had the entire community trying to provide resources to this mother in order to help with the care of her own children. But the defense said the testimonies did not show that Bertino did anything criminal and had a doctor's appointment for Maya set up the day after she died. And the one person that is supposed to be, you know, to have the legal obligation, the moral responsibility to, to do something about it did nothing. And the defense had no comment about the outcome of this hearing. Now the DA says the office is working to indict the case as it makes its way to the grand jury. Meantime, Bertino remains at Chautauqua County Jail without bail. In Silver Creek, Krista Moran, 7 News.